Welcome, my name is Maria Kondzielska and you are watching Perlon Daily Culture. And today we have a very special guest. Agata Lewandowska is with us, a painter, photographer, artist, I would say an orchestra woman. Thank you for coming. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. And starting, let's start from your photography, because that's actually when I, I remember you working in one of the weekly Polish magazines as a photographer. Actually, it started with uh, nature and uh, with artistic photos. And after that, I just moved to the reportage and uh, that's why the newspaper um, work. But um, I cannot close myself in one um, photography style because I love everything which is beautiful and inspiration. So I can take a photo of nature as well and still life, for example. Okay, and we have this beautiful still lives behind us and other uh, so great nature. Tell us, uh, have you been there? Like. Do you especially go there, the beautiful place, just to take such kind of photo? How long, how much time does it take? And uh, yes, I had in my life one very beautiful moment that I had um, half a year of traveling with my camera only, with so in Southeast Asia. Uh, I travel with Cam in Cambodia, uh, Thailand, Malaysia, Laos, Singapore. And I just was traveling around uh, looking for beautiful places, nature, people, inspiration. And uh, that was the most um, beautiful time just with my camera. And okay. And what were the, like, give us examples about one of your best shots. Like, what have you seen? What, could, what were you able to catch? The most beautiful, I think it was the tea plantation in the Cameron Highlands. Um, at uh, 5 a.m. with beautiful just silence and just fog and just nature and these beautiful leaves that will end up in our cup of uh, tea. It was just magical moment that I could capture and... Uh, so you needed to wake up, I mean, be that really early there to... Of to course, travel life. with my backpack and go up on the hill uh, and not sleep and be freezing and... But still, it was worth it to, to have Okay, it. so that, that's the... Do you still do photography right now? I make a photo shoot of models, of fashion, and still have some agency... Um, proposal to make uh, new photos for them. It's part of my life. I need to do photos. It's, it's okay, so you co-work also with models, yes, you yes. say, and with magazines. Of course. Yeah. And uh, as I've seen in your uh, in your portfolio, you also do the, the kind of artistic photography, which is, uh, uh, I would say, impressionism or something in this way, <laughs> or uh, that there's a person, but mm -mm. it's kind of sur surrealistic very much. Yes, the Malovani project. Yeah. Uh, it's my personal project um, that it was my graduating project for Academy Photography in, in Palace of Culture in Warsaw. And that was my idea to connect my loves, which is painting and uh, photography, to connect it together and to make something special, unique, something between the body and uh, something between this what is real and this was what is more imagination. Uh, in like what style and in what, what materials do you use for, for your paintings? I paint more abstract um, because like in photography I catch the real stuff so in painting I can make an abstraction and I use uh, acryl and oil and normally it's mixed media uh, paintings. Is there like any um, exact inspiration which you get because I mean it's a wild thing. <laughs> to say abstraction. <laughs> the word, a whole the word is uh, dualism. It's uh, realistic and imagination. It's um, soft and it's hard. And this is why uh, I do this stuff because in this point I can, in photography, I can have it one medium to show the real stuff 
and the painting is all about showing something that you cannot see normally. You cannot capture by any medium than through paint. Tell us a little bit about your education and the schools which you finished. I will start with interior design uh, that I finished uh, in Wrocław, but I had scholarship in um, Portugal and I stayed there after. Mm, then I moved to Paris uh, because I had a big project of a um, boutique hotel. And that, By interior design? Yes, so of course. That's already <clears throat> a working woman. Yes, just after the, the, the studies, I, I got a very good opportunity to, to improve my skills. There I found in Paris, I found a very interesting uh, person, which is uh, Arno Stern. Back then I wasn't afford to have uh, his um, uh, lessons, but two months ago I finished his course. Uh, I know almost everything about his um, Colossia project about the spontaneous fun of um, painting. Okay, so uh, just to explain all, all this to our viewers, uh, it's a way of painting or teaching how to paint, to, exp to bring emotions, yes, to have, uh, <clears throat> have a good time for the, uh, for the painter, for the artist, to yes. show something yes. out of the artist, as I understand. Yes, it's, um, we don't call the person who is coming to such a place, it's never an artist. We are not making here an art. Uh, we are, everyone who is in this place, it's a kid, it's a, a child, child of my Lord, uh, which is everyone can be with the 19 years old uh, or 90. Um, it's about bringing the expression of yourself uh, through the painting through the drawing and uh, just use the paint and think what is inside of you. Okay, I guess it can be a lot of different results. Of with course. It. But is it a good art? I mean, in an in a objective sense or is it like more... So you say it's not more about creating art, but... I think uh, the whole process is art. I think when you are taking the, the brush and putting it to the beautiful paint and just the act of it, this is an art. After what we don't expect any result, we don't expect to put uh, something uh, practical or like uh, you don't draw a cut, never. You just draw whatever inside you. How did it like develop your artistically? Because after you all, you want to be an artist who expose your art or pieces of art also outside to the viewers, not only for yourself, but also to a bigger audience. Mm -hmm. How do you feel that it influenced uh, you as an artist? It's very difficult to show my art uh, to another. I, I just like really part of me always. And it is like just showing to everybody who I don't know who I am, actually. So it is uh, very difficult, but in the end, it's such a relief that you can just show yourself uh, through this media. Because after all, when you don't show it, it's kind of a little bit, <laughs> there's a sense of doing it. It just... starts to exist when somebody sees. It exactly. starts to exist when you feel it, something. How can we find your art on the internet? Under <laughs> what names? Uh, with photography, I am uh, La, Fa La Fota, which is shortcut uh, LA. It's shortcut from my surname, and I'm, uh, Lewandowska Agata Fota, or Lewandowska, Agata, La Farba. With your La Fota and La Farba. Two nicknames of Agata Lewandowska, under which you can find her pieces uh, in internet and of course also exhibition which is coming very soon in April in Warsaw in Hala Kozhiki. We strongly recommend you to visit it. And again, thank you for watching Perlan Daily Culture.